Okay, this volcano, uh, as I mentioned, uh, every 7 to 12 minutes has an eruption. But the eruption in the certain times in the evenings uh, is uh, less vigorous. And in the midnight and uh, near the midday is the strongest. That's the time that the moon and the sun at this time of the year, they are near eclipse, of course. They're close together and they have the uh, highest tide. I wonder if this uh, volcano eruption is related to, is kind of pulsating with the uh, cycle of the tides. Uh, high tide, low tide, and uh, uh, we know that uh, the uh, gas, a gas like a uh, radon, actually, is a radioactive lightweight, uh, uh, a radioactive heavy, uh, odorless uh, gas actually you know has a relation with the tides and uh, any any kind of fluid maybe also is related to that so there is a possibility look now it is the uh, it is now you see that it's over overwhelming the the, the actual uh, volcano is overwhelming the channel again is uh, going over the walls Yesterday at this time it was again like that. So there is something going on. There is a relationship probably. I'm not, uh, uh, you know, a better, but uh, you can you can bet if you were betting that there is a relationship. Look at this. Never was that that red. It's so strong now eruption. The channel is almost blocked. And uh, you think that where the lava goes? Yes, the lava goes uh, in these humps that you see here, here and here. These are actually lava tubes. They are like tunnels. The crust over it is solidifies, solidifying, and uh, lava goes inside them. They're like a uh, underground uh, tube stations. Uh, that the train is moving through it. So the, the <laughs> these are not of course for that. Uh, the lava is conducted by these underground uh, tubes. We call them lava tube, and is delivered wherever it's going. This one is really big, and uh, they've hardened over time. 